What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So it's been a minute since I've sort of created a new workspace. The windowless room I usually use has gotten pretty unbearable, so I thought it was time to move on over to an area with a view. This is my new sort of secondary desk setup in my bedroom, and I wanted to share some of the must-have tech items I've added to it that both keep me productive, but also keep the setup as a whole relatively minimal while still being super functional. You guys might also know that I like to stay pretty mobile. I prefer to just stick with the laptop. I'm always on the go and traveling, but from time to time, I do need more screen real estate. So that's where the Mobile Pixels Trio comes into play, this awesome dual screen laptop setup that I can still take with me and really gives me a lot more space to work with. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. I also have a few other important items scattered around to help make videos and whatnot. And for the desk itself, I I definitely wanted to keep things simple too with a clean and minimal sit-stand desk. The desk I chose is the FlexiSpot E7. It's a fully motorized sit-stand desk, but you can see that I don't really have a chair in here, so it's mainly keeping me upright. FlexiSpot sells a couple different desks in various sizes, the E5 and E7. This E7 is the larger of the two, but either one you choose, you're getting a desk that's measurably better than the competition and consistently voted one of the best standing desks for a work-from-home setup. The FlexiSpot E7 is obviously a very minimal desk. It practically blends right in with the window panes. You've got a sturdy base at the bottom with two long, full metal legs that move up and down, and then I went with an all-white desk top, obviously, to match everything else in the room. But there are a few other colors and finishes you can choose from. Different wood textures, bamboo, and black or gray desk legs and frames instead of white. Lots of options to customize a desk to your liking. Size-wise, I went with the 48 by 24 inch desk, which affords me plenty of room since I'm mainly using that dual screen laptop setup, which I'll talk about in a second, and some other smaller desk accessories. And I like how the desk has this sort of curved cutout in the middle here that makes the setup a bit more comfortable as you sort of move your arms around and grab for different things on the desk or lean against it. The main point of this whole desk, obviously, is the adjustable height. So the E7 can raise up to as high as about 48 and a half inches and lower back down to just shy of 23 inches. Inches. I'm relatively tall, like six foot three ish, but even for me, there's a range of heights that I feel comfortable at. Sometimes I have proper posture, sometimes I'm leaning, but it all works out. The desk itself is also really stable. The legs alone weigh a ton. The tabletop is super secure, and whether you're raising the desk, lowering the desk, leaning on it while you're standing, there's almost no give or wiggle or movement at all. And the desk can support up to 355 pounds, so you could have two or three monitors a whole PC, a ton of little desk toys and things, and it will all stay totally secure and in place. The height adjustment is controlled using this little panel and screen. You've got simple up and down arrows and you'll see the exact height measurements there too. You can also set some custom presets, so if you want a specific height for yourself and a different height for like your significant other, you can do that. Or you can also set the heights for sitting and standing so that those are saved. There's a USB port built right into that panel, two cable channels drilled out right on the desktop that you can see that I'm using, and underneath the desk, a whole cable corral. The height adjustment motor is hidden up in there along with a few other cables and things for my computer and my desk accessories. It's some solid cable management for sure. All in all, I think FlexiSpot makes a great sit-stand desk. It's solid and secure. It's really minimal. It's also really quiet. The motors are some of the quietest available with very little motor hum. So for me, this has been a great desk and I'm super happy with everything it does. And if you're interested in a FlexiSpot Spot desk, they're actually just about to launch their Black Friday sales, up to 50% off with a special flash sale on November 25th. Definitely jump on that deal if you're looking for a new desk. I'll leave it linked down below. Next up, we have probably the easiest way to double your screen real estate. This is the Mobile Pixels Trio. It's an external monitor that doesn't just connect to your laptop, but seamlessly integrates with it as well. The way this works is by magnets. The screen and its enclosure magnetically attach to the lid of your computer, and once installed, you just slide out the secondary display and you're pretty much good to go. You can turn the monitor to whatever angle you want, basically 270 degrees, and I found this whole thing to be easy to use and really straightforward to set up. It's secure, it slides in and out without issue, 
issue. And best of all, it isn't any bigger than your actual laptop when it's all closed up. It adds about another laptop's worth of thickness, but that's not a huge deal since you are getting another whole screen and it still remains relatively compact. The monitor connects via USB-C to my MacBook Pro, and it is a full-fledged, full-featured secondary display with all the perks that come with it, whether that be doubling up on your workflow or splitting your time between work and play. Now, mine is the Trio Max. It's 14.1 inches, it's a 1080p screen, and it's gonna look just about as good as your main laptop screen. It's super colorful, it's very bright, obviously, and you have some touch controls off to the side for brightness and for adjusting a myriad of other things too. Everything from contrast to color temperature and even enabling an eye care mode for minimal blue light. As weird as it sounds, this is almost like the ultimate mobile setup now. I take my laptop everywhere. It's my primary work computer, but the screen gets cramped pretty quickly. With the Trio Max, I get double the screen. It attaches to my laptop. It's compact. It's portable. It's seamless. I think it's pretty much the perfect solution for a unique and useful at home or on the go setup. And I should also mention the Trio Trio and Trio Max are on sale right now for the holiday season. They're $100 off right now, and for Black Friday week, they'll be like half off. Pretty good deal, so don't miss out on that, and I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Now, scattered around the desk, there are a few more essentials. Obviously, I have this big old microphone jutting off the back of the desk for voiceovers, Zoom calls, and anything else. This is the Blue Microphone Blackout Spark attached to the Blue Compass Mic Boom Arm. I've been using Blue Microphone products for or forever. This is like my third or fourth microphone at least. I've been upgrading every other year, but it's the mic arm especially that I like best. I haven't found another sort of boom arm that looks this good and is also this secure while being super easy to move. It also has some cable management around back too. It's easily the best mic arm available. It's not cheap, but it's the best option I've ever seen. I also of course have my AirPods Max almost always within arm's reach. That's not too exciting, but you should always have have a good headphone stand too with a setup like this. And this is the newbie headphone stand. It's super cheap, it's also very minimal, but it actually fits the AirPods Max quite well, and I haven't found anything I like more than this yet. I also still have a couple of those Anchor power strips you guys saw a few weeks back that help keep various things plugged in and charging. This is the more portable Anchor 615 65 watt GAN Prime power strip with regular plug outlets and USB-A and C ports. It's a really nice little desk add-on that's been super handy since it's easy to access and you can pretty much charge or power every everything. So there you go, that's my fresh new desk setup with a view, at least in the other room of my condo. What do you guys think? Am I missing anything essential? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, of course. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.